Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumaticraft uh, Repressurized from Minecraft 1.16 So today we're going to look at some of the new things some more of the new things in version 1.16 and we're going to have a look at um, actually the first one isn't particularly new I want to do a brewing program and the reason I want to do a brewing program is I would like to make some fire resistance potion so that we can drizzle off to the nether now I know that I've got this armor that will also protect me but a brew is, a, is actually an interesting thing, an interesting program to do. I'd also like to have a look at the vacuum trap, the spawner extractor, the spawner core um, shell, and the spawner core. And maybe when we've got some time, we'll have a look at some lamps. And um, no, not, we're not going to do the security station today. So let's get started. So first, have a quick look at the thermopneumatic processing plant. I was overdid it last time. I have to be honest. I wanted to get the temperature up to over 500 degrees to make the iron drill bit, and um, Desh told me I could use a, a magma block underneath it, and that seems to be working, as you can see. The only thing you've got to make sure is it's got to be thermally lagged. If it isn't, then it just loses quite a lot of heat very quickly. Uh, so I don't need that. But what, so what I've done here is I've just moved these two a bit further away so we can do something else with those later on so the program for brewing what I'm going to do is in here I've got some actually I've got some bottles and some water bottles and I've got some ingredients I've got some leather wart some magma creams and some redstone so that will make awkward potion this will make fire resistance potion three minutes and this will add it and then make it eight minutes and then we've got some bottles so the first thing we're going to do is we in the brew stand here is ready we've got three slots of for bottles in here so what we're going to do is we're going to take three bottles out of here um but first of all we're going to check to make sure that we've got bottles so let's do this start it so i've got some of the components here already um in here and i should have some bits and pieces that i want in here so we've got plenty <laughs> plenty of um programming puzzle pieces there was an offer on and the uh Amadron tablets, so I took those when I could. So let's just move these two out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to stake stuff out of this chest here. So we'll use this left hand side one to do that. And then we're going to put it into the brew station here, like that. So we've got those two positions, as you can see, they're lined up like that. Eventually, we will actually put the, the rest of the, the brewed um, products in here. So let's get started with this. So we start off with the usual thing here. And what I want to do here is I want to check if there's more than three items in this chest. So let's get that ready. Three. It doesn't type. I'm probably in the wrong field. Let's do that. So more than three items in there. Then it's true. And we're going to go down and we're going to import. So we need some area pieces. So we need an area piece for this. And this will be the same piece that we're going to check for the, that chest. So the chest is the one on the left hand side like this. Um, so we're going to check that chest if it's got more than three pieces and we need a bottle of water. So let's just get a bottle of water out of here. I'll take one of these empty bottles and a full bottle with me. In fact, let's take two empty bottles because we'll need three water bottles to start with. So we're going to check whether this has got three bottles of water in it. So let's bring in here a piece. We'll search our inventory for water bottles. And what I can't see is, that is the tag. I'd like to be able to see the tag, NVT tags in there, and I can't remember how to do it. So we're going to search this here, and we're going to um, have this. But it's actually important that we do include NVT data, because I think an empty water bottle and a, a full water bottle, has got, or an empty bottle and a full water bottle, has got just different NVT data. So we're going to do that. And if it's um, if it hasn't got then we're going to wait. So let's say wait for bottles. I've got a, a think link already prepared over here, and then we want to wait it's a period of time. We shall wait for one second or 20 ticks. So let's just put in 20 ticks here to wait for 26. So if it has got three bottles of water, we're going to come along here and we're going to take out of this chest um, from the upside, from the top side of that, we're going to use a use count of three. I've got to remember to be careful with this, by the way. Preview, preview the area, you can see it's there. That's what we want to do. So we've got to import three bottles of water, and then we're going to put those three bottles of water into the um, uh, brewing stand. So let's take this one here like this, and let's give the area for this one as the brewing stand, which is this one here like that. And you can see that's the right position, because that's one in our hand already highlighted. We don't need to do any more than that. 
Um, we don't even need to say we're going to put in bottles of water here because that should be the only thing we've got in our inventory. This is all fairly straightforward stuff. We've done this before. Now, the next bit comes to the interesting bit. So at the moment, we should have in here some three bottles of water. So the one that I would like to use now that makes it interesting is the for each item. Because for each item is neat. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the brew place. So I'm going to just duplicate this link here. So this in, in effect calls a sub calls a subroutine. And when I've finished brewing, we're going to have to put the the bottles back into the into the chest. So let's let's just get these two pieces out. I want one of those. And the reason I'm going to take out new ones of these is because I want them without any settings on them. Now when we put it into the brew table, I think we actually have to put it from the bottom side. So I'll make that up and down. It doesn't matter which side you put it in, really. You could put it all sides, and it would probably work. And then we're going to need some items. So the items we're going to take out of here. In fact, it's probably more sensible to get the three items out of here that we want. We want some nether wart, we want some magma cream, we want some redstone. Like that. And then we can go along here and we can say, let's get three item pieces out of here. So we can duplicate this one three times. So it's going to iterate these three items so the first one we want is let's search our inventory for another ward like that and it's going to put one in um next one we're going to do is magma creams like this um again we don't need to set anything else and the last one we're going to do is we're going to search in for redstone like that so what we're going to do here is we're going to take these and we're going to import them from the inventory first of all i'm going to duplicate this one up here like this um and we're going to take them from the chest. So the chest we're taking the bottles out is the same place as we want to take this one out. And then we need to specify an item. Now what we do here is we use a variable. We need to set that up in here as well. So what we're going to say is we're going to say ingredient as an item. That just need to be highlighted. Like that. Ingredient. That's correct, I think. So that's, that's the item we're going to do. So it's going to set the value of ingredient for each one of these items in that order. I thought about the also putting three bottles in here. That also works, but it's a little bit slow. Um, so then we're going to say here, we're going to... Oops, what happened there? I must have misclicked that one. Variable. So we're going to say variable here, ingredient. So we're going to take this ingredient and take it out of this chest, and then we're going to put it into the brew stand. So the brew stand is this coordinate here, like that. Um, and then it's going to brew, but we need to then wait for a period of time. In fact, we need to wait for 20 seconds. So there's the wait here, and then we're going to wait for 20 seconds. And I've actually got 20. I'm just going to change it to seconds here, like that. And that's going to wait for 20 seconds. That is the length of time that we need. Um, but also, I'm going to put it into standby before we actually do this, because otherwise it hovers for 20 seconds. Uh, and then finishes so that's that bit that bit done so that's going to repeat this for each ingredient um the next thing we're going to do is and i think up is okay in this case so if it doesn't work well to fix the program we're going to take these two last two pieces here and we're going to take the three bottles of brewed material we haven't got any yet to do it but well how am i going to do that i think i'm just going to put in here a nothing for the time being but we're going to take it out of the brew stand here so we're going to import from the inventory here and then we're going to put them in the next chest like this oh yes i've always seen this this slightly oddness here with this when you're in this mode i need to pick those up thank you it says that did i just duplicate this slant box no i didn't There's something weird let's just press um, escape and come back in again yeah they didn't right so now, oh, by the way, I'm using the very latest version at this time, and that is version 1, uh, build 90, like that. So that's the position we're going to put the items into. So we need to set this position up here to where we're taking it, and we're going to put it into another another position, where it's the right piece, the area piece here. And we're going to put that in here and we're going to then when we finish we're going to go move somewhere else um i'm going to move this down here like this so this one here is we're going to move select this piece we're going to have this one here which is the, should be the one selected like that 
and you can always double check it and I'm going all I'm going to do is move over here so I'll just pick a a point to move to I'll tell you what I'll do I'll move to one block above this chest here like this so let's just put this down here and then let's select this is the second position like that and then break this like that so we're just going to move that when it's finished the the stuff it's done and it'll come back and we know it's finished it's it's run so all we're going to do is specify this position um which is oh, not wrong, wrong one i want point one I'll select that one preview the area we should see it just on the top left hand corner if you saw it there good and i think that's the whole program so let's give it a test so we'll program the drone here like that how many pieces does it take seven pieces no that can't be right required pieces seven Oh, it says required pieces seven that must be wrong let's take it out of here and have a look at this 36 pieces that makes a lot more sense so let's just put it down and it shouldn't do anything it just goes to sleep and the reason oh, what's happened here i've got rubbish collector i must have the rubbish collector with me as well let's just put the rubbish collector in this chest to be on the safe side i don't want to use it i don't want to reprogram the rubbish collector um so let's able, enable the um, entity tracker. I'll just change this to Control D, by the way, and I'm going to print, um, debug it with Control Left bracket. So it's waiting for bottles, as you can see, and it's going through that once a second. And if we look at the program here, we should see it just coming around here like this. So it hasn't got three bottles of water yet. We can drag this up and see the whole this whole program, but that's fine. So let's put three bottles of water in there. So I've got one bottle here, and then I need another two, like this. Let me just sort my inventory out a bit, um, and then pick up the other two. I can reach between that. Now, you might wonder why I'm not right-clicking the empty bottles on the water source. And the reason for that is I can't. Uh, it didn't work for me. So there we have it in here, and we've got three bottles of water in here, and it's put 63 nether wort. Oops, that's not going to work. So let's just kill this program let's take the bottles of water out before it finishes so it doesn't actually do anything let's kill the program and replace that like that so i need to take i'll put the i'll put the nether wart back in here so we don't use it all up oops tried to remember not to do that so let's put the nether wart in there in fact i don't need the magna creams i don't need the redstone we'll keep these three bottles of water in here like that and then we'll just fix the program so what I did wrong here is I didn't say the number. So we need a use count of one. So we're going to take one out of here and then we're also going to make sure we just put one into it. That's all we need to do here. And in fact, on this one, we're going to take a use count of three. Um, it shouldn't matter. So we shouldn't need to set this one up. Uh, and I don't, th I'm not 100% sure which side it's going to work on, but we'll find out in a second. So let's reprogram the drone. like that and let's put it down again now it's good to do the same thing again um it's not going to do anything it just waits for bottles so let's put the three bottles in like that and see what this time it's done so let's come across here if i can click it actually i couldn't click it for some reason right? you'll see this time we've got one nether wart so it's going to wait exactly 20 seconds while it's doing that let's just tap in it i want to do it at pn don't i the pneumatic craft. So that's finished. So we now got awkward potion. It's now sticking in the magna cream. So we can actually have a look at this, what it's actually doing at the moment. So let's go to control and um, I haven't debugged it yet because we replaced it. So this time it's here waiting down here. So the next one it does, it's going to wait for the 20 seconds. It's then going to come back here, do the next ingredient, which is redstone and put it in here and then wait again and this time we should have redstone in here like this and then when it's finished if i've got everything right this is three minute potion it should take the three out of here and put them into that chest like that and it didn't do so that's fine so what you can actually do is take these three out of here like that 
and then get the drone. It came back to this place as we wanted it to, but we'll actually have to make sure that we actually take out of here. Um, let's just get into a position where we can actually see this. There's a red box here, and I'm not sure what that represents. But let's have a look. We want to, ah, uh, maybe up. Let's try up and down on this one. Um, we'll leave the use count to be that one. Let's have a look at the area, preview the area. So that's the correct, the correct area. Um, and this one here is also, we'll preview the area on this one. That's where it's going to go to, yes. Um, and it is the upside on this one. We always put this into the upside. So the only thing we need to specify here to be 100% to be certain is we'll take the item filter out of here. We shall select from our inventory the, the potion, like that. And we'll make sure that the NBT data is set. I think that's fire resistance one tag. So it's going to guarantee to take these out just in case it does something else. So let's get the drone and reprogram it again. I always forget Ash not to do that. I always do it every time. So there we are. Brewing drone, reprogram it. Off we go. So again, we'll put it down. This time we'll put it down here. The program isn't going to be 100% robust. Um, the reason it's not going to be robust is it has to go through the sequence. If you break the sequence in the middle, it, it won't restart again. I'm not sure why this piece is highlighted red. I've forgotten. Maybe we'll find out. So it's coming up to night time. So let's just put these three bottles in here like this. This will take 27 bottles. Uh, let's get three more bottles out of here. Like that. And then right click these onto the water. Like that. This one like that. So the drone should just come along, pick those up and put them in here and it should just do the same thing again. So I'll be back in a few seconds when it's first of all daytime and also when the brew's finished. See you in a second. So it's going to finish any second now and hopefully this time we'll see them being taken out of here. But yes, that time it's done it. And sure enough it's been put over there like that. Um Let's check in here. Yep, we've got our six, which is perfect. So all I'm going to do now is take the rest of these. We need another. We've got six from 27, so we need 21 of these. Let's just take half of that. And put 21 in here like this. I want one more and put the rest up here. So I'm going to fill up as many of these as I can. It'll probably throw a few down. How many spaces have I got in here? Anyway, what we've got in here already. Sort this inventory up again. <laughs> Drone pushed me about that time because I was in the way. And let's carry on doing this with the rest of these bottles. 15 to go. So that should carry on running now um, until it is finished. I'm not sure why this highlight, I've got to figure that out some other time, it's not important. Maybe there's a, just check one of these programs, make sure that we're not previewing any areas, nope. But it will carry on. In a few seconds, we're gonna have a full chest in here. So while that's doing that, let's go and have a look at something else. So I would like to have a look at um, the new stuff about spawners in in this and I've actually got the recipes prepared in here as you can see um, so this let's have a look at the three spawner things this is the vacuum trap so it's as you can see two compressed iron one iron trap door one press it tube three reinforced slabs and a reinforced brick wall and that produced one of these vacuum trap traps um, this one here is going to be the extractor here and this one is going to extract from here. We need the spawner agitator, drill pipe, and some the rest of it's fairly straightforward, to be honest with you. And then we need to have a spawner. For the vacuum trap, we need a spawner core. And to make that, you need a spawner core shell, which is made with um, compressed iron and pressure chamber glass with one emerald. And then we need to fill that with experience. And to do that, we need to have, in fact, you can look at this one. This is this one here. So the recipe for this is, there's two ways to make it, it tells you here. So it's the 
the beating heart of a spawner. Place this in a pressure uh, spawner to spawn mobs in essence. Okay, it can, and then it tells you how you can get. This is how you fill it up. So we need memory essence with a spawner core. We'll produce the shell. We'll produce the spawner core, and then you can also produce it by putting this onto a spawner extractor onto a spawner, which will give us two things: an empty spawner and a spawner core filled with whatever mob we're going to have. And we're going to use them. Um, uh, all we're going to use is we're going to use um, blazes from the nether because I'm going to rebuild the nether and obviously you have to delete the nether in order to get some ne netherite because it's all existing the other one. Oh, so I haven't got enough space now. I've got some junk so let's just get that out of the way. And let's make, let's quickly craft up these three things because they've got exactly the right bits. So we'll do the, um, where have they gone to? We'll do the vacuum trap. We shall do the extractor like this, and we shall do a spawner core shell like this. Okay, and that's all we actually need for that one. Uh, the rest of this here is this one is a vacuum um, vacuum tube, I think. So let's just get that one done as well. This is the vacuum. So I made one of these before anyway, so I'm going to look fast, I can see it, here we go, yes, the vacuum pump. Oh no, that's not the vacuum pump, what have, I, <laughs> what have I built then, what did I get, let's have a look at the uses of this one. Ah, oh, that's a fluid mixer. So I don't need a fluid mixer yet, but we'll craft it up just for the sake, because I've made the recipe. Um, and these two here are just lamps. We'll look at this in a few. Oh, actually, let's just do this now. Make some lamps up. So we've got two different types of lamps. One of them's inverted, and the other one isn't. So, for example, for example, I want to have a, an, a yellow one inverted, which is this recipe like this. It makes four lamps. And, and the other one here was a white lamp that was not inverted, which is this one here, a white wall lamp, like that. And you can put these down anywhere you like. So, for example, we can put this one, let's get this in our hand, of course, put it here, and it doesn't come on, it doesn't make any light until you put a, a redstone signal onto this block, which is as simple as taking a, uh, this a lever or a redstone block, it doesn't matter what, and we can put it on here like this. Maybe a daylight sense, and sure enough, that lights up. The other one of these was the yellow inverted lamp so it works exactly the opposite let's put one of those down there now it's illuminated let's put a lever on it and turn it off so you turn it off and sure enough they do work pretty well because you can see if i do it that way i put one up here and if i press f7 there are no there are no bot bits which are dark in fact let's i'll do that outside anyway so now we've got the bits we need um and I think I've prepared an area over here for the vacuum trap. And sure, this is where I'm going to put the vacuum trap. And this needs a vacuum, um, a vacuum. And at the moment I've got, a, this pipe actually, by the way, runs all the way around here. Let's have a look at it. Um, the easiest way to take is a camouflage applicator. And you can see where I've, I've run this through. It runs along here and it actually comes from over there. So there are about 60 odd pieces of pipe in here. So if I now put the vacuum trap down, say, here, um, and all I need to do is put it down like this, and then have a look at it. So this needs a spawner core in here, so we can do that. Uh, so the problems. No spawner core. Oh, yes, we need to have a, a filled one of these. I haven't done that yet. We'll have to do that next, won't we? It also needs, uh, it's not got any memory essence, so we'll have to get that as well. In fact, the memory essence we've got will come from a memory stick like this. So someone hasn't got very much in it, but I might. Oh yes, I can do it. I can right click it with one of these. Let's just take this thing here. And you can also open, you have to open these up. So let's just right click this now. It's got memory essence. Has that gone away? Yes, it's gone away. So we, we've got enough memory essence for the start. Um, so we need to put a spawner core in it. So let's do that. Now to do a spawner core, I'm 
think I've got the bits and pieces here. Yes, I have. Good. We need, and I've actually got some memory essence in here. You can put it into a tank as well, like this. So we can put down, for instance, this, and I want to put it down on here. This will be safe because it's got pressure in it. Try again. Let me just do it this way around. Sure enough, it has. In fact, this was actually the bad choice. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick it up. Uh, with the right tool, of course. This one's got LPG in it. The other one, that's actually just got water in it. So let's just put that back again and take the one with just... This one's got water in it. And let's put this one down like that. And that's the correct way. But we can dump the water. If we press shift and get rid of it, that gets rid of the water. So what we need is we need a spawner core here. And if you look at the uses of this one, and I'll probably easy to do it over here, you can fill it. And we need four buckets of memory essence. So what we can do, of course, is we can take this memory tank here, right click this. That'll probably fill it up, as you can see. And it's also running. Let's have a look at it. So now we've got one of these. I want to get the fluid back again into this tank. So all I do is I shift it to the output tank like this and then take this and right click it again. <laughs> Didn't quite work as I wanted it to try again like that. Um, let's, do, let's do this again. What do we have? There's five buckets. So if I do that and pick this up again, it probably put it in another tank. Let's see if I've got another tank in here. I have, yes, good. So we'll take one of these other tanks. In fact, I am supposed to be testing some right-clicking behavior. Maybe that was one of the things which is not correct. And then I can put that into there like that. And I've got an empty tank. I can put it back in here again. Whew. So now we have our spawner core. Let's go and put that into the trap over here. Like that. The reason I put it out here is because we're a little bit further away from the uh, sentry turrets. Like this. Now, it's still got warnings. So it says the vacuum trap is closed, so we need to shift, sneak right click to open it like that. And then it's open. And you get this here. What's going to happen is that these, now we should have green, which we have, these bits here should um, soak up any mob that comes near it. And I can also put range upgrades in here. Let's have a look. Range upgrade six. Okay, I shall go and get some range upgrades, and I'll be back in a second. Right, here we go. So now, it might not have a mo enough mob essence, but any mobs that are coming around here, like, actually that was one that was too far away. I probably need to be a little bit further away. I've got the rubbish collector stuff, so let's just stand over here. And hopefully we'll see a mob spawn that we can actually get into the into the tank. So actually I'll wait here for a few seconds and see if I can attract one. I'll be back in a minute. Here we go, here's, a, here's our first, actually it's not our first, she's our third. <laughs> and you see, just got absorbed into here. And then you look at this here. The first one was an Enderman. I, I looked at an Enderman. Before I could press record, he was already being absorbed. And then there was two zombies. So over here, and so that's how that works. So that's basically that covered. And I'm going to have to leave it like that. There's a creeper over there. He won't go for the water, so that's not... It's only zombies which will, and Enderman. And anything that spawns here, of course. So I can leave this for now, and we're going to go now over to the end, and uh, not to the end, to the nether, and we shall set up the other piece. Now we need more bits and pieces for that, and I think I've got everything prepared in a chest somewhere. Not that one. Not that one. All right, I'll be back in a second with every bit that we need. Well, here are the bits we're going to need. We're going to actually need a vacuum pump. Because this will, if it tells you in here, it says maximum pressure, but we have to look at it. And when you put it on a spawner, I can't put it on this slime block to demonstrate it, but I have to put it on a spawner. It will actually show you it needs minus 0.5 bar. It probably tells you in the book, actually, if I look at the book. Let's have a quick look at this. Um, I'm not sure if I can find it directly in the book. Let's have a look, go back here. You see, well, because I've upgraded or to 116 you can't see everything in here but if i look for example spawner extractor spawner agitator standby widget ah oh, it's not in yet i don't see it in here 
unless it's in a different place. Some of the stuff's in here, but not all of it by the looks. Oh, here we go. One extractor. Oh, it's not. Ah, oh, maybe because it's red and not red. So it tells you in here what it does. One of the two ways to obtain spawner cores. You'll, you'll want a pressurized spawner. If you want to make a pressurized spawner, which is the end game for next time, I reckon. So then you place it atop on a vanilla spawner and it'll need to find somewhere in the world, which I know where there's a couple of those. Then provide the, the extractor with minus 0.5 bar with a vacuum or lower and then prepare for a fight. So you really do need to fight. We'll see that next time. And that's how the recipe for it. So there we go. Um, last thing to look at was this chest here. And sure enough, it's full. There's nothing left in here. And the drone is sitting there. Put three more in. It'll carry on with the process that time. So we have some bits and pieces ready for next time. Obviously, I needed some fuel for this. I've got a small tank of fuel. 32, 32 buckets of fuel. So next time. Next time, we'll carry on with this project and see if we can get the spawner extractor with it. A filled spawner core and a pressurized. We'll try and make a pressurized uh, spawner and see how that works. So, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.